Ayubwa Namaste from Northern Peninsula and the closest part to India, Jaffna Peninsula. I arrived to Jaffna city yesterday night and it's 12 July 2023, Wednesday. Very lovely morning here. I walked from my hotel to see this Jaffna fort, historical fort. It is indeed safe. This fort was built by Portuguese, later it was captured by Dutch and then British. This is very historical and one of the oldest fort in Sri Lanka. The view is amazing from the top. Well, they didn't let me inside this Jaffna fort because they are trying to charge me tourist price, overcharge me. I tried to search on the internet, but I didn't get the actual price. Different travel agencies charges different prices. So it's just the ruins and uh, I have seen so many forts. I am just happy to be here and witness it with my own eyes. It is not important to go inside. I also arrived earlier here. I needed to wait so that they could issue the ticket. They don't allow me to record as well. So it is not worth for me. Because I want to travel and also record so that I can keep it as a memory. Now I walk to explore other places. I am right now in front of Jaffna Public Library which will open at 9.30. I don't have time to wait so it's better if I go to explore other places. This is Jaffna Clock Tower along with the statue of King Khandara Vanyan. This seems to be a, a scout school, Jaffna scout group. The first scout group in Jaffna. I had only heard about a scout school, but uh, my city doesn't have any of them. Finally, I found. I'm happy to see this scout school. This is very interesting to see, traffic police of Sri Lanka wearing helmets. Every single individual must wear helmets here, it is mandatory by the Sri Lankan government. Such a nice rule. Jaffna Railway Track. This is Sri Naga Bihara International Buddhist Center. It is also closed. A very beautiful pond is in front of it. It's a mini pond but it's very beautiful and clean. I just got up from this bus and this to the northernmost part of Sri Lanka called Point Pedro. Northern Palm Pole Point Pedro, Sri Lanka, Munai. Finally, I arrived here. I am picking this from Point Pedro, Northern Palm. Behind me is Point Pedro's lighthouse. Hitchhiking on a small tractor here in Point Pedro. It was crazy, I just guy thought that I am from the US. 
Now I am being helped by a guy here. Your name? Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. I arrived to Valipuram Alava temple here in Point Pedro, Sri Lanka. I feel very blessed to be here. The morning prayers is being continued here. You can hear, listen the sounds of the bell, the sacred bell. It seems to be one of the most popular destinations in Point Pedro. To be honest, uh, this is similar to Tamil Nadu, state of India. I feel like I am in Tamil Nadu, state of India here. I love this architecture. Now I need to go to explore other places. I have never seen such tide in a tree. This is unique for me, like uh, in Nepal, I have mostly seen the prayer flags tied like that, but uh, it's a strange for me. And when I was in Hampi, I saw stones tied like that. But uh, this is for the first time I saw such uh, designs, wooden designs tied. Well, it's very hot in the northern part of Sri Lanka. Uh, I want to leave this quickly and go to the mountains. I found a place here inside uh, the temple complex and I'm trying these biscuits. It's also from Sri Lanka, produced in Sri Lanka. And I'm getting this Fanta. This guy thinks that I am Sinhala. If I go to Southern part, they call me Tamil. Because I don't understand Tamil and also Sinhala. But I look like Sri Lanka, according to them. Well, he is giving me lips here. I am very thankful to him. Your name? This is for the first time I saw Duke bike in Sri Lanka. I finally arrived to Sakothai Cap, which is the northernmost point of Sri Lanka. It was a tiring walk, but uh, worth walk. Here I can find some fishermen. Buddha come. Wada come means hello in Tamil language. I can find Sri Lankan flag. Unity in diversity is the strength of Sri Lanka. Same for Nepal. Whoa. I am alone here. No one is there to take my photos and videos. Luckily, my GoPro is charged so that I can take for myself. I can see coral reef. Probably, this is a Ramsetu stone. Yeah. 
Adam's Breeze Rama Setu were built by Lord Rama and monkeys also beer. So they made a bridge from Dhanush Khodi Rameswaram to Lanka. Ah, finally this is the bridge I am walking here. This is one of the closest parts to India. Dhanush Khodi. Tamil Nadu state of India. I'm gonna pick something from here. Uh, okay. I'm gonna pick this as a souvenir, reminder from this place. I am alone right now. I, however, manage my GoPro attached in between the stones. Well, I am very happy to be here and also flying my Nepali flag. Probably I am the only Nepali to come here. Jai Sri Ram, Jai Sri Hanuman, Har Har Mahadev, Jai Nepal. I got a bus to Nepali Swaram Kovil. I just got up from this bus and safely arrived to the temple which I wanted to visit. It is also one of uh, Panta Iswaram. One of our abode among five abodes of beloved the almighty god Shiva. I cannot wait to go inside this temple and take the blessings of beloved Shiva. The architecture is amazing. Wow. It's a huge temple. This is one of the most beautiful Gopuram I have ever seen in Sri Lanka. I saw a lot of Gopurams or temples like this in Tamil Nadu, India. I need to go inside the temple be tested. This is the second temple where I'm going inside the temple be tested. Last time I went to a temple in Manar. And this is the second one. Nepal. Nepal. What I come? What I come? <laughs> Your good name? Full name? Yes. Yes, it's uh, Madi Vannan. You are Hindu Tamil. Hindu Tamil. Okay, very nice to meet you. This guy informed me that uh, during a uh, colonial era, he is the guy who uh, stopped those people and protected, preserved Hinduism in Sri Lanka. Since this is a very religious place, I want to take water back to home and also some things from this very religious place. I am also taking this stone. I am very thankful to him. He brought me to a ashram where I can have a prasad. Yeah. Thank you. You are you're welcome. This is for the first time I am going to have prasad in Sri Lanka formal prasad like in Nepal we eat uh, but in Nepal it's now rare you will get something served in a banana leaf and this is a unique prasad such prasad you will not find in Nepal different a bit different prasad I am very thankful to him for his great hospitality for feeding me food. It was really a very different kind of food and he let me know it was a rice from uh, Jaffna, 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 Jaffna rice. 
I traveled everywhere in Sri Lanka, but I didn't see it, such kind of rice. It's only found in Jaffna, I guess. Thank you. Nandri. So, Nandri, thank you. A temple just opened here. Here is a very nice swimming pool. Religious swimming pool. A religious plant. I had prasad from here. It is so beautiful. Now I'm moving to the bus stop from where I can find a bus to Jaffna city. I found a minivan going to Jaffna from this temple. This is for the first time I will be traveling via such minivan in Sri Lanka. This is one of the biggest Hanuman Sesu I have ever seen in Sri Lanka. I just got from that minivan and it is to Jaffna here. Now I need to walk to another temple. I arrived to one of the most prominent temple in Jaffna called Nalur Kandaswami Temple. I walked to here. It is nearby my hotel. It's a very beautiful temple. Inside I didn't uh, film because I was not allowed. Before going inside the temple they asked my camera and also mobile phone. I needed to go here as well bare tested. Uh, Lord Murugan is worshipped. We call him Kartik. He is the brother of uh, Lord Ganesha and son of uh, eldest son of uh, Parvati and Shiva who is the almighty God well it's very pleasing to visit this as soon as I entered the temple I was asking the guy at what time uh, it will be open like uh, and he as soon as he was telling me few seconds it got open and I could see the main statue of the deity Murugan He is King Sangilian. I arrived to one of the most popular ruins of Jaffna Kingdom. I was being misled by a guy. He was working here. I thought he is a local and he told me this place is 4 km far. I was walking away then I asked a fruit seller showing this photo of it and he guided me to here i am very thankful to him this reminds me of an abandoned place in my city birgaz this place reminds me of a similar place in birgaz nepal similar architecture but uh, that place in birgaz is more beautiful than this one he helped me to find the place so i am very thankful to him i also want to drink one from this he was cutting a small pieces finally i asked him to change because the same price so i wanted a bigger one i am asking him to cut it so that i can try some parts inside I can eat it edible parts this is the first time I saw a dialogue recharge here in Sri Lanka as I was super full I could not finish this so I am taking it inside a plastic bag I will eat this later I am very thankful to him for his great hospitality your name yes, very nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.
I stayed at Daphna Palace Hotel last night. It was really good staying here. Now I need to leave Daphna. It's a nice hotel. Finally, this non stop running bus is stopped for food. I was super hungry. I ate inside the bus. I'm gonna try bunny's hair. <laughs> I am gonna try roti here with this curry. I just got off at Polonarua and it's a morning now. I tried some hotels but they are not understanding my language and also I am finding harder to find a hotel so I directly came to police station here and they are helping me out. I am very thankful to them. Well, thank you very much for watching my video. See you in the next video.